A has some coins. He gives half of the coins and two more to B. B gives half of the coin and two more to C. C gives half of the coin and two more to D. The number of coins D has is the smallest two digit number. So we know that smallest two digit number is 10. So D has 10 coins. And how many coins does A have in the beginning? So D is 8 plus 2. Why have I have written like this? Because C gives half of the coins and 2 more to D. So this is the 2 more. And 8 is half of what C has. So how much C has? C has 16. So C gives half of 16 that is 8 and 2 more. So 8 plus 2, 10 to D. Now 16 is 14 plus 2. Right. So this is the 2 more. Now B, question says that B gives half of what B has and 2 more to C. So B will be having 14 into 2, 28. So half of 28 is 14 plus 2 is 16. Similarly, 28 is 26 plus 2. So what A has? 26 into 2, right? So A will be having 52 coins. So this is one way of doing this question. Another way is like you can use the options and solve this. Now, let's say we are taking option A first. First, option A is 76. Now, let's say A has 76 coins. Then, how much B will be having? B will be having half of the 76 plus 2, according to the question, right? So, how much this will come? 76 by 2 is 38 plus 2 is 40. Now, how much C has? 40 by 2 plus 2 that is 22 then D has 22 by 2 plus 2 which is 13 so 13 is not the smallest two digit number so option A is wrong so similarly you can put other options 68 and 60 and then finally if you put option D 52 A will be having 52 B will be having 52 by 2 plus 2 that is 28 C will be having 28 by 2 plus 2 16 D will be having 16 by 2 plus 2 is equal to 10 10 is the smallest two digit number so option D is correct so this in these two ways you can solve this problem.